Welcome to Gentle Yoga Class. We will come to a comfortable seating position, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Inhale, come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn up with the right shoulder. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other armpit. 45 degree angle. Slowly come back to center. Coming into the next circle, either full circle or half circle. Nice and slow. Work control. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay there for a little bit longer. I'm going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Then go the other way. Reverse. Full circle or half circle. Nice and slow. And we're going to slowly come back to center. We're going to bring your arm out, forearm stretch, lengthen the forearm, palm facing me, fingers facing me. And slowly come up. This is a little bit of 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 a we're going to go with our music for a bit, or we, I can just play it off my phone. So, I apologize for the interruption. Forearm stretch. So, after that, you're done with one side. We're going to go to the other side. Lengthening the forearm, palm facing me, fingers facing down. And then you go finger facing up. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Hands on the shoulders, opposite, in, arms up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Through the pinch of your shoulder blades, opening up the lung, heart, chest. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows in. And reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Release, shake it up. Interlace the finger. Press down, middle, up. Push the sky away. And we're going to repeat this a few times. Go your own pace and your own breath. Always listen to your body. One last set. And we're from the center. We're going to go to one side, lengthening. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Slowly come back to center. And release. Inhale, the arms up. And we're going to the right side. The other arm up. Reach and stretch. Looking up. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Bending down so you have more room to come down. We'll do it a few times. Inhale, center. Lengthen. Exhale to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Lengthen. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. One more set. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center, we lengthen first, 
And we bend towards the other side, reach and stretch. Inhale, center, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Bring down the hands behind you. Coming into a gentle twist. Inhale, side. Exhale, the other side. Slowly turn. Come back to center. One more. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. One more. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center. And down by your side. Take a breath here and we're going to go into Council Track. Starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper closer turn. Moving your shoulders as far. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, we're going to go the other way. Reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Inhale, arms up, lift. Exhale, back down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relaxed, forehead back. Lengthening, taking a couple of breaths. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly walk the hands back. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, hands underneath your shoulder, knees slightly behind your head, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. Sway side to side, getting ready for cat and cow. Inhale, draw your belly, chin up, look up into your cow. Exhale, run your belly as much as you can, pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times, set your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movements. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Warming up the spine. Two more times. One last one. Now we're going to back to center. We're going to take an inhale to center, exhale, turn over to right here. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. One more step. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center, sway side to side. Coming into our balance, bird dog, play on the left leg, breathe and stretch, lengthening, full strong, looking down, staying here, four, three, two, one, slowly release, swing side to side. Repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg, breathe and stretch, lengthening, full strong, staying here. Four, two, one, slowly reach from side to side. We are bring the right leg up from the side to that. Tapping it side to side. Let's do another three, two, and one last one. Slowly come back to center, swing side to side. And repeat on the other side, bring the left leg out. Tap here, side to side. Let's do another three, two, and one last one. Slowly release, swing side to side. Lifting the right leg up. Right foot to the sky, pushing the sky away. Just be mindful of anybody who have any wrist issues. Let's do another three, two, 
One, slowly release, sway side to side, repeat on the other side. Lifting the left knee up, push the side. Left to another three. Two. One, slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side here. And we're going to sit back into a child pose. Walking your fingers forward. Five fingers down onto the feet. Lengthening the spine. Dragging our ankles join, hips join. Massaging internal organs. One more breath. And we're going to slow this from the front back up. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Walking the dog up. Pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Inhale to come up on your two toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the head back down. One more time. Inhale up on your toes. Exhale down. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. Coming into a forward bend. All ten toes facing the front, legs are hip width. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, go on to opposite elbows. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood go the other way from us. Just be mindful that head is below half. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. And we're going to slowly release. Hands are ways for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly come up to standing. Let your blood pressure get used to this. Once you come all the way up, and we're going to go into a supported back bend. Place your hand behind your lower back, pinky is touching, squeeze the shoulder blade again. Left knee chin up and half back. Now pushing the hips forward. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. Helping people with breathing related issues. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Come into press the moon. Inhale, arms up, palm touch. Release index when you grow tall. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Try to keep your arms straight. Chin is away from the body. Looking up, lengthening the side of your body. Both hips are level. Not one hip in front of the other. Inhale, center, lengthen, exhale to the other side. Keeping your arms straight, chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, center, turn long, exhale to the right, release the bottom arm. Top arm is in crescent moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side end. Slowly bring the bottom arm back up, lengthen, exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm is suppressing the side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up. I'm down by your side. Shoulder roll. Release any tension you may have. And reverse. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. We're going to come to Pranayama breathing. Bring your hands to heart center. Now when I count to five, we are taking one big breath in and one big breath out. By the time I count to two or three, if your lung is full or empty, don't hold your breath, take another breath. Interlace the finger as you cross your Start exhaling all the stale air of your lungs. Keep your eyes on your knuckle, first round. Deep, deep, inhale, four, five, four, three, two, one. Palms towards the ceiling, hold your breath here for one count, and then hands in prayer. Start releasing all the stale air of your lungs. 
Keep your eyes on the knuckle. If you're done exhaling, take another round. Deep, deep, inhale, second round, four, five, four, three, two, one. Palm super sushi, hold your breath here for one count. And then hands in prayer. Start releasing all the stair air of your lungs. Interlace the finger as you cross your mouth. Keep your eyes on the knuckle. Last round. Deep, deep, inhale, four, five. Four, three, two, one, arms towards the ceiling. And then we're going to bring the hands to our center. Start exhaling all the air of your lungs. Come down by your side. Coming into chair pose. Inhale, arms up, sit in your chair. Weight is in your heels. You should be able to see your toes, wiggle your toes. Don't stick the butt out. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Inhale up, exhale down. Bars to high first. Inhale up, exhale down. Every time you come down, get a little bit lower. Let's do another five, four, three, two. One, we're gonna stay down here, try your best. For another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly come up, 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 up on your tippy toes. Lifting the heel as high as you can. Stomach is tight. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly coming back down. Arm down by your side. Shake it out. You roll the arm up as always. And we're just going to swing it. There's no force into this. And we're going to come to a full circle. Try to keep the arms close to your body. Know your range of motion. If anybody who has any shoulder issue, just be more mindful. Do what you can. Listen to your body always. And then we're going to go the other way, roll it up like bowling ball. And slowly, slowly release. Check it out, the other side. We're just going to swing it first. Not having a whole lot of force into this. And when you're ready, we go into a full circle. Try to keep the arm close to your body. Right side are different from the left side. That's perfectly normal. And we we'll roll it out like bowling ball. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Stepping your legs a little bit wider, going to hula hoops. Loosen up. Soft knees. Don't lock your knees. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly climb back to center. Stepping your legs a little bit wider and push through the pot. Make sure your body is upright. Not leaning into the center. When you're in the center position, go the other way. Slowly come back to center, going into a goddess. Legs about three feet apart, toes are pulling it up, and suck by your chest. Inhale up, exhale down. We're going up and down, not forward backwards. Slightly tuck the tables in, go back to back. Let's do another five, four. One, stay down here. Get the right heel up. Lower down, left heel up. Lower down, try to take the low heel 
fly slowly, slowly coming back out and down by your side. Heel toe, heel toe, to bring the legs together. Shake it out. Come in, you're balancing. My left is your right. Heel down first, spread the toes, grab the mat. Sing the big toe down, shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring up the other knee, relax the foot. Turn the knee out to the side of the room, look at the opposite side for balance. Now at home, if you feel free to hold onto the wall or a chair or a piece of furniture, if you find that balancing is challenging. Working the standing leg and ankle, tall spine, stomach is tight. Slowly bring the knee back to center head, so waist. If you need to tap down, tap down. Extend the leg, flex the foot. Staying here for three, two. One, take it up to the knee, shake it out, the other side, heel down first. Spread the toes, grab the mat, same the big toe down, shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring the other knee up, flex the foot, turn the knee up to the side of the room, look at the opposite side for balance. Stay in, for three, two. One, slowly, slowly bring the knee back to center, head, so waist, extend the leg. If you need to tap down, tap down. Stay here. Four, three, two, one. Take it out to release. Very good. Shake it out. Three into a tree pose. Right leg. All four corners press down. Regardless of whether you're flat foot or high arch, turn the other knee out to the side of the room. Go down. Five, half open, so anywhere on the knee joint. Bring your hands to half center. We're going to take an inhale first. Exhale, rise up, laying the leg is fine. Inhale, exhale, open up the branches. Shoulders relax, engage your arms. Stomach is tight. Taking the heel into the standing leg. Standing leg, pushing the heel back. Tall and strong, like a tree. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring the hands together. Two knees. Very good. Shake it up the other side. All four corners press down. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring the other knee over to the side of the room. Toe down, cap. High half of this over behind. Bring your hands to half center. We're going to take an inhale first. Exhale. Rise up. Lengthening the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Open up the branches. Shoulders relax, eyes looking down the floor or at the horizon. If you want to challenge yourself, look up at the sky. Stomach is tight. Work in the standing leg and ankle, toss spine. Feel the energy within you. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly bring the hands together. Two, release. Very good. Shake it up. And we're going to slowly transition to come sit down, have a sip of water if needed, and then we'll go into seated poses. Bring your soul and your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, fly above about 10 times, so opening up the hip joints. Slowly come back to center. Coming into a forward bend, grab a hold of the big toes, only part of the legs. Thumb on the big toe now, inhale to lengthen, exhale, hinge, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the other side of the shin, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge forward. Every time you come down, the stomach come down a little bit more. Keeping your neck and your spine in line. Not dropping the head, rounding the back, or become a hunchback. Lengthening the spine, stretching out lower back muscles, opening up hip joints. Then you're going to find some discomfort in your inner thighs. One more breath, I'm going to slowly, slowly come 
your way back up. And we're going to slide your feet if you're inches in front of you. This is longer than it is wide. We're going to come into a turtle. So we're going to slide your hand underneath to grab a hold of the feet. Inhale first, exhale, head to feet. More intensive stretch of the lower back. Now this one we can round the back because we are turtles. And you're gonna feel discomfort in your crotch area, inner thighs, outer thighs. However, if this makes you feel good, because it's a deeper stretch of the lower back, stay here for a little bit longer. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. Sliding hand up from underneath. Now bend both knees, grab your arms around your knees, make yourself small. Inhale, chin up, head back. Exhale, chin to chest. We're gonna do it a few times. Both ways we're stimulating thyroid gland. Release tension at the back of your neck. Decompressing the spine, giving more spaces between C2 to C7. One last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Open up your knees. We're going to reach your wiper, hip width, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release. Now we're going to open up and drop them to the right side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here. Quarters up hip joint. Look at the opposite side. One more breath, and we slowly bring the knee back to the center. Take an inhale first, exhale, go both knee to the other side. The butt stay down, you feel the stretch here, quarter suck hip joints, look at the opposite side. One more breath, and we slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Now we're gonna come to an easy sit position. And we're going to warm up our hands and we're going to cup the knee. Now there's no muscle in the knee, so if anybody who have any knee issues, you have to build up the quadriceps to support the knee. So I'm just going to pay a little bit more attention today to the knee issues. I'm going to massage it. Now, if uh, you feel more comfortable sitting in a chair doing this, if you were to do it uh, in your own time, just sit in a chair to do this. You don't have to sit on the ground. And we're going to go the other way. And massage it. Getting deep into the hollow part of your knees. And we're going to stroke it up. Stroking motion up. Do a sawing action up and down the kneecap. We're going to saw it sideways, horizontal around the kneecap. Now we're going to go to the other knee. So we're going to massage it first, bring warm to the area. And then we're going to saw it up and down, vertical, around the kneecaps, and horizontal. Just keep the circulation going, get the blood going to that area. Massage. Go the other way. Come to a comfortable, easy, set of position. 
cupping hands and third tap all the way up to the neck. Release any tension you may have in the neck area. So we're not slapping ourselves, we're just using a cupping hand to go up and down. And on the inside of the arm as well. And using cupping hand again, the eye of your elbow. Slowly release the other side, cupping hands, and have it all the way up to your neck. Release any tension you may have. And we'll tap the inside of your arms as well. Eye of the elbow. Slowly, slowly release. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulder up to your knees. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, sign it out to release again. Inhale, shoulders up. Oh, let it go. One more. Inhale, shoulders up. Oh, let it go. And we're going to tap the thigh all the way down. In another thigh, your legs. Slowly release the other side, tapping the legs and the thigh up and down. Slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to shake hands with our toes. So spread all your fingers. We're going to interlace the toes. The toes are often the most neglected part of the body. So after you lace your fingers through the toes, we're just going to wiggle it side to side, giving your foot, your toes a little bit of massage here. And you will just wash hands after class. And rotate it out of the way. Now we're going to give a good squeeze of the toes and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Now the finger, the toes squeezing the fingers back. And you realize how strong your toes are. Toes squeezing the fingers a few times. And slowly, slowly release and slide the hand out of your toes. Now we're going to repeat on the other side. We're going to interlace the finger through the toes, creating spaces between the toes. And we're going to wiggle side to side, giving it a massage. And the other way. So remember the days that we wear uh, high heel shoes a lot and the toes get to be so tight and there's very little time for them to spread out. So this is a good one to do every now and again. Now we're gonna squeeze the toes real tight with the fingers and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Now the toes squeezing the fingers back. Feel how tight and how strong the toes are. And our 
after a few squeezes, slowly slide the head out from the toes. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Getting up nice and tall. We're gonna point and flex the feet a few times. Ankle exercise, pumping blood back to your heart, helping your circulation. Anytime you feel like you have leg cramps, you can try this and see if we will loosen up. One up, one down. Ankle stretch. Circle. And reverse. Staying up nice and tall, lifting the right leg off just a few inches. Lower down. Left leg up a few inches. Lower down. So we're going to do this a few times. Feel how tight it is in your quadricep. Your core is tight. Now we're going to try to lift both legs off the ground. So we generally just lean back a little bit. Lift your feet off. Stomach is tight. You can continue to support yourself or let go. Staying here. Four, five. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Slowly release. Bounce it out. Coming into a wide leg. Open up your legs in a big V. Point the toes up to the ceiling. And we're getting ready for forward bend. Inhale, arms are lengthened. Exhale, hinge. Meeting with the chest. Place the hand in front of you. Bending the arms so you have more room to come down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come forward. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. We're not dropping the head down. It's the stomach that needs to come down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Every time you come down, bring the stomach a little bit closer. In yoga, inhale the lengthening to prepare. Exhale, in this case, is to fold. There's going to be a point that you can't go any further, and that's your boundary. So listen to your body. Over time, your body will loosen up and you will become more flexible. So we're building flexibility and strength at the same time. Slowly, slowly turn back up, come into side bend. So right if you're looking onto your right toes, bring the toes to you. If you cannot touch the toes or onto any part of the legs, so release the hands or use yoga strap. Bending now. We inhale the other arm up, reach a stretch, open up the hand, look at the top thumb. After you lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left side of your body. If you like, you can release the bottom arm. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder out and open, looking up. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. We're going to do a forward bend on this right leg, so we hold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn to the right leg. Shift forward, holding on to any part of it for the two. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Bring your stomach a little bit closer. And if you have tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to repeat the right leg side bend on the other side. Wherever all the big toes are in part of the legs. If right leg is difficult, fold the leg that you're not using. Bending arms. Right arm up, reach and stretch. Open up the hand, locate the top thumb. So after you lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Shine your chest up to the ceiling. If you like, you release the bottom arm. Feel the stretch in the right side of your body. Stretching all the arms on the right side. 
stimulating meridian points. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg, so we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn to the straight leg. Shift forward, holding on to any part of the two. Chin is away from the body, eyes open forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Not rounding the back, dropping the head, or become a hunchback. Working with your breath. Now we're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Get the pressure part out from the butt. Inhale, arms of lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond your feet. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. And if you can't touch the toes, hold on to your inner part of the legs, so release the hands. And if you have yoga strap, you can also use your strap. Not to yank yourself to come down. Good posture as you get into the alignment. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, keep hinging forward. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Coming into one leg forward bend, my left is your right, point the toes up to the sea. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Now come forward from the hip joint, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the left foot or toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Stomach come down a little bit more, and then the chest. That is the last thing. So. Keep your chin up. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Coming into a seated twist, bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. Beginner, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. On this side, your modification, opposite arm, opposite knee. The other arm up and over, bring it directly right behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath here, we're going to slowly bring your body to the opposite side. Bow down, hand the twist, front foot is on the mat, so that's the side you're going to. Stretching our lower back muscles, oblique the side of your body. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Repeat one leg forward, then on the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge. Leading with the chest. Grow longer. Holding on to any part of the lips of the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes to keep forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Then the chest. That is the last thing. Body's directly on top of the straight leg. One more breath. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Come in to see the twist, bring the belly on the other side of the straight leg, and if you like, you bend the bottom. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw close to your heart. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, or wrap around your wings. From now on, can we stop sign hand, pray your hands, and you variation in your much. Creating resistance. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, give you more room to come down. Front foot is on the mat. Stretching our lower back muscles. Open the side of your body. Now 
One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly walking the hands back. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Coming into your boat pose. Get the fleshy part out from your butt. Bare bow knees, hands underneath the kneecap. Come up on your tippy toes. When you're ready, lift your feet off the ground. First round can be supported. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly, slowly release. Come down, take the breath. Another round when you're ready. Lift your feet off the ground. Now you can continue to hold on this way, this way. Those who are ready to let go, let go. Don't lean back. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly, slowly release. Back to back. One last round when you're ready. Let go. And we'll come to a V-sit for those who can. Otherwise, you can continue to hold on. Staying here for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly, slowly release. Very good. That's it up. And we're going to slowly transition to lie down on our back. Going into reclining poses. So take your time. To come lie down, bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping a natural curve in your lower back, and down by your side, palm facing down, slightly tuck the chin in to protect your neck. Take a couple of breaths here. Going into wind releasing on the right side, wrap your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side as well as extending forward. Right hand on right knee. Using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint, five times one way, five times reverse. Slowly come back to center, coming into a spinal twist, right foot on left thigh, left hand gently guide the top knee, as close to the floor as possible. Right arm out, shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Stretching our lower back muscles. Creating spaces between L4 and L5. Helping you to relieve back pain. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat when releasing on the other side. Grab your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massage the organs on the left side, as well as descending forward. Anytime you feel bloated, constipated, you can try this method and see if it helps you bring some relief. Left hand on that knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the left hip joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center. Spinal twist, left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm on shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. Using the opposite hand to guide the top knee a little bit closer to the floor. Stretching our lower back muscles. 
creating spaces between alpha and alpha, helping you to relieve back pain. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten up the legs. Bounce a few times. Then both knees, we're going to go into a bridge pose. Knees are two fists apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hips high up. Forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your hips high, high up. And we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Now coming up on our tippy toes, lifting your hips even higher up. Squeeze your abs in tight. Your quarter and your glutes are firm. In another words, Squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm. Strengthening the front and abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong. One more breath. I'm going to release the hands from underneath your bridge. Lower the heel back down. One more breath at a time. Release the spine back. Once you come all the way down, we're going to raise your right foot, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. And we're going to slowly drop the knee to the right side. Make sure the butt stay down. We're not doing spinal twist. More intensive stretch, right foot on that thigh, so outside foot on inside thigh. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. You should feel the stretch in the left quarter sack, hip joint. One more breath, and we slowly release. Take an inhale, send an exhale, rub both knee to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Make sure the right butt stay down. Now you can stay here. Those who need more intensity, outside foot on inside thigh. Dragging it a little bit lower. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Listen to your body. If this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it. And we slowly, slowly release. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion. Massaging lower back and sacrum, helping you to relieve back pain. And go the other way. Slowly come back to center, lifting the head, chest up, head to knees, please. Continue to massage internal organs. Slowly release the head down, lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Place your hand on the bottom of your feet, press down so that the knees are close to the armpit. Feel the sensation, head opener. Rocking side to side, massaging the entire spine, the entire back, opening up hip joints. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, hands behind the kneecap, flex the feet. Stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood go back to your heart, helping you with circulation. We're gonna have both arms and leg up, and we're gonna go into a circle. Wrist and ankle exercise. Go the other way.
fold it backwards. Open shut. Slowly so come back to center. And down by your side. Two, three rounds of leg lift. Use your core abdominal muscles. First round. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it. Bend both knees. Lift the legs back up. Catch your breath here. Second round. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it. Bend both knees. Lift the legs back up. Catch your breath here. Last round. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Place the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Bang ankle pose. And down by your side. Palm facing down. Close your eyes. Hip release. Like gravity does its job to open up the hip trunk. One more breath, and we're gonna drop both knee to one side. Raise your right arm, making a pillow with the right tricep. Coming into a fetus position, lying down on your side. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Big, big hug, knock yourself. Place your finger on your shoulder blades. Now you can stay here. Those who can go to eagle arm, lock the elbows right up on the palm. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming an L shape. Feel the tightness in your shoulder blades. Slowly release. Big, big hug on the other side. Now you can stay here. If you can lock your elbows right on the thumb, go ahead. Lift the elbows up and away from the body. And we're going to slowly release, shake it out. Interlace the finger, gently place it behind your head, pull forward. Release tension at the back of your neck. Giving more spaces between C2 and C7. Slowly, slowly release. Inhale, shoulders up to release. Make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, Sign it out to release again. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale, shoulders up. Ah, shake it out. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for watching, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.